Looks like Sivir has been somewhat of an issue. So with Vayne, how's that going to work? There's a flash going in right now. Trace is bounced out of the fight. Smeb also there in the top lane. First blood for Vayne. They have to find themselves in that hole in the first place where they constantly have to play from 5, 8K behind. As Kuro right here, Chaser under the tower. That's going to be some nice poke. And not a dead Cassiopeia, the turnaround. Wisdom comes in to deny that one. GBM no ult yet to finish off that kill, and Chaser pays for it. The poke that they have on their composition, them not taking it means that Ku has a lot more wiggle room as Wisdom just goes on to GBM, gets stunned actually. The fast feet from Wisdom. One oh, moment, still nice forward for the Q. Arcano Pulse claims a victim as GBM really commits to that one and gets already a bit panic stations when we talk about win conditions coming into late. Yeah, absolutely. Now they're going to try and take this blue buff away. Chaser forces the flash out of Kuro. Equalizer goes out. Wisdom caught between a barbecue and some lightning. Wisdom's on the top side of the map. They haven't prepped vision around. In fact, there's a couple of pink wards available. At least one notable pink ward available. Chaser is face checked by Smed. They get a lot of damage. Equalizer used. Yeah, he's going to try and back out right there. There's the Harpoon. Arcane Smash knocks him back, but Smeb in a lot of trouble as the Zerathold comes in. Flash and Paralyzing Gaze doesn't actually find a target. Smeb going back in with his W. Heals because of his passive before going down, but Kuro's going to clean this up. Double kill for Cassiopeia. Ping's going like down. Looks like there will be a contest here. Gorilla. Looking for a flank right here. There's the hook onto him. Ziverolt is blown, but so is Gorillas. And now Prey gets an auto onto Chaser. Wisdom taking position, and everyone from Genera retreating into the choke where they can use that Zerith poke. Chaser condemned into the wall, and that's going to be a dragon picked up actually by Prey right there. Wisdom didn't even have his smite up for that fight. Gorilla playing Dance Dance Revolution, but can't quite make it through. Prey. Not going to make a flash over that wall. Six game Alistair undefeated win streak. That's bold and that's committing to the wow. distortion boots early. Now he's gonna of course pop the ultimate. They're trying to get Trace next to a wall for Prey. They seem distracted between taking down this turret and fighting. And Gorilla's taking a lot of damage. And there's the ultimates coming in from Nautilus and Rumble. And that'll be Trace with the kill onto Alistair Prey. Ults into the back line. He wants to get some of these single targets down. Smeb on the outside finds GBM, tries to sidestep. The Q goes down anyway. And the Ku Tigers in a bit of a rough state around this uh, tower right Still now. Cassiopeia is coming up. Everyone on Jyn Air is scrambling to get there right now. Sivir will be last, and that's going to be a drag. There's nothing they can do. Yeah, you can see so much zoning potential from the Maokai and Alistair in the front. Very good positioning from them. That's three dragons now that have Rumble come put down. That's a really nice equalizer splitting up the threats. Once again, Gorilla has left his own devices, and Vayne is not grouped. Yeah, she is now Prey coming in from the rear. Smeb starts the engage. Chaser caught out in the front line. Prey starting to dive through the composition. Trace not able to get much on the outside. Prey turns around after picking up another kill onto Che. They don't want to commit to this anymore. Push up the mid lane instead is going to be their action. And will they go for this Baron? They're doing a lot of damage to this Baron. Only now is their vision. They're seeing the teleport coming in from Malka. We still don't see him on our screen. In the back line, onto Chaser. Chaser taking a lot of damage. Prey is at no risk whatsoever. But GBN's trying to kite back. And look at this, too. Prey gets the isolated target on the side. Kuro and Wisdom now coming through the opposite choke. Smeb wants this. They're all in the line. But Trace, so low, will get picked off eventually. Kuro trying to dodge right here. There's the ultimate. And they will barely not kill Prey. Flash. Boomerang Blade won't finish him off. Smeb left on his own, but he's going to take down Che pretty easily. And I'm not sure they're going to actually be able to kill Smeb right here. And Smeb dances around all these skill shots. Gorilla on the other side of the wall does come in. Thrown right next to Wisdom. Gorilla with the flash play to get the kill onto Jack. But just an insane fight. It went on for so long. Excellent kiting back by Jinnah. I didn't even know they had the venues to do so. Now Trace is comically out of position. GBM is close though. The poison registers. Kuro knows he's here. 
and we're waiting to see what will happen. Wisdom is low. Trace doesn't have the scrap shield available. It is taken down, and that's really, probably really nice play. In this particular area, they're still not responding to those waves. Look at the timing. Rek'Sai in the bottom side, massive minion wave in the top lane. Such a good position to do this Baron from GBM. Will get found out by a sapling now. Gorilla healing up his teammates, taking a little bit of poke damage, but that's going to be a Baron because of the map play there. And now the fight's going to start. Smeb onto Captain Jack. Captain Jack in the front line just gets chain CC'd as he's knocked around by Gorilla's Alistair. Kuro finds Che all alone on the side. And there are that skirmish pickups that Jin Air. It's interesting they sent Wisdom to be the one to threaten the turret dive. Now, of course, I would have said sin. Gorilla. Exactly. You can be sinned by the Rex side tremor since you don't have the, quite the same scariness. They're getting a lot of damage onto this inhibitor turret. Smeb takes free damage, hoping for prey in the short range vein to get the turret. They get it, and we should see an engage. And there goes Gorilla. Double knockup. Trace goes down nearly immediately, gets obliterated by Kuro. Kuro with the double kill, just moving on through the composition, and that is going to be a turret and more than likely a game win. Prey low, but not low enough to actually prevent him from attacking these objectives. Gets a little bit of life steal. There is going to go the Nexus, the Ku Tigers, with a very measured, convincing game one win against the Jinair Green Wings. We talked about GBM on this earth. Did not die during that game 3 0 and 4, but predictably. just yet. No, they're just looking to, oh nice, actually waiting out the spell shield right there. That's a lot of damage coming through as there's Bray actually flashing forward. There's another flash from Gorilla. First flood to Bray after he lands that cha chain actually get stunned into the wall as Chaser wants to turn this one around. Chilling Smite onto Gorilla. Gorilla may in fact bite the dust right here. He will go down inside the brush. But a uh, this dragon seems like just a big surprise to me. Yeah, definitely. And they have to start pushing forward right now and making an aggressive play. Lots of people loading up. TP coming into the bottom side. Jay gets locked up with that root, immediately stapled to the wall, and he's going to die very quickly. Smeb on the flank, just providing some interference on the side right now. This should be a dragon in favor of the Ku Tigers as Jay gets absolutely destroyed because they get that from other places. Jack up in front right now. Now there are a lot of Jin Air players. Gorilla gonna have to use that speed boost, but he gets caught by the Timbers and taken out. Great play. Jin Air very decisively going all in. Trace on the other side of the map. Smeb getting burned down here by this rumble. It looks like he will be able to get out, but another tower for Jin Air. Has done so many more autos, because the minions haven't been dying. They're actually going for the engage, and Kuro is coming from behind. Bray low. popping his old Wisdom there with the Agony's Embrace. Kuro in from the flight. Captain Jack gets chained and then chained again for the kill. Bray mops it up with an auto attack. Che now trying to get a double stun, does land the W. And Kuro though with one more auto. And the big cooldown is the equalizer. They're gonna actually start this dragon. Only one auto, they're gonna move quickly. They're looking for the pick on Trace. Yeah, there's the equalizer. And yeah, that's gonna actually prevent the follow-up. Kuro getting very low and he nearly gets burned down, but does escape in the end. So nice decisive play from the Tigers collapsing onto a flank with that speed, but it's not gonna be enough. GBM is going to, actually Trace gets the kill right there as Kuro has to retreat into the enemy turret. The Tigers are pushed off. The warding totems, they have this double side stone. Just follow your vision with a really aggressive flash. Tibbers instantly kills Bray, and that should be a turret. And that's how you play this composition. Use that Sivirult, use the Whimsy and the hard CC to take somebody out, and then immediately transition into an objective. They're after Smeb next. Smeb gonna flash the wall. And GBM wrapping around the side right here, chilling Smite. Will it be enough? Gorilla there to give him the protection, but Chaser with the knockup. And that'll be a dead tree taken down with the equalizer there to provide a little zone to make sure they get the kill. So two picks from Ku. They did this in the last game too. Force them at the Baron, force them to try and face check or be concerned. You're doing it, and there we go. There is a vein ultimate right there. Jack gonna pop his ult immediately. GBM finds himself right in the mix though, and Ku will respond with a pick of their own, Smeb. Very good at taking down Baron. So just one of those two, enough a threat, but the Chase Tibbers. Yeah, Flash Tibbers. Jay wants this. He's got a melt in the front line. Good equalizer, though, Kuro. 
uh, is on the outside. He's already had his shadow popped right there. Smev just doing some zoning work. Chaser coming back in. Gorilla looking for that tether onto the jungler. Has to break it. Wisdom running out of the fight. Kuro. Oh, very low distortion away, and that will be a one-for-one -one trade. However, Jin Air is still very healthy. There's the flash for it. Captain Jack going aggressive. He gets the double kill on the prey, and they're still committing to this. Gorilla caught out for a triple. Smev has to flash the Dragon Wall. Now, can Jin Air turn this into a Baron? It looks like they end up being indecisive. GBM just walked away oh, from it. Oh, this is so dangerous. LeBlanc is back to full HP. Can come over the wall. Still a lot of HP though All for Jin Air. Available as well. 5,000 health. TP, is the TP Baron. coming in. Guru on the flank right now. Can he get it? Can he do something? No. The Baron taken by the time Smeb gets there. Jin Air pulling it out and a stun from Che. There will be a kill. Captain Jack running up as well. Tossing out a boomerang blade. Smeb should be able to get away. Already used his righteous glory. There's a slow. And he's going to W to an awkward minion wave. And then back onto Trace right here. They want to go in, actually. Prey can't really do much at all. Wisdom pops the locket, but there's just not enough people right now as Jack gets another double. Captain Jack slicing through these low armor, low health members. Very squishy. Could be difficult. They don't have the best backline damage. Prey and Captain Jack actually dueling. Captain Jack so low. Flash Tibbers. And Prey's not going to go down. The QSS will save him, but a boomerang blade. Hits him in the back line. Ku Tiger still going in right there. A lot of damage. Trace getting low, but Captain Jack huge right now. Wild growth and running forward for the triple kill. And that should be it for this one. They still have a lot of tower damage available. The Blanc crucially is at full health, so they might be enough to harangue them away from the uh, Nexus turrets. Four members, the Rumble can choose to teleport back in, or they could choose the safe route. Jin Air, they have all the options this game. Yeah, I think they should just power through right now. They have the minion waves. There's the, probably could have waited longer to TP onto a turret target right there, but Trace still moving forward with those home guard boots, and that's going to be Jin Air on the Nexus as they send us to a game three. Very decisive play from Jin Air. And credit to Jin Air playing a comp that we weren't necessarily immediately convinced by, especially given their... Fifteen hundred damage in an AOE that you just really have hard times. Oh, for. Jay actually getting caught right there. Big stun going down. That'll be a disengage. Jay gonna get out. Kuro on the run, and meanwhile, Gorilla trying to escape from GBM. But there's the kill. First blood actually comes through for our Cassidy player Kuro. Really incentivized to give the advantage to Ku in that regard with Kassin and Riven really looking uh -oh, to pose threats. Prey is going to get dived. Yeah, there's the ignite onto Prey. He's going to flash out of this one, but that's going to be oh, not very useful. Oh, he actually kill. kills Jay underneath the turret right there. Buys himself enough time to trade one for one. Now Kuro coming in with the rift walk. Looks like he's not going to be able to turn this around. No mana at the moment. Had to use but Gorilla on the side right now. They can't re-engage this. And now Chaser in enemy territory. Smeb. There once again, dash, stun, knock up, dead. And Smeb will get his first kill. Doesn't they're look like Jinnah know what to do. Nope, they're not decisive enough right there. And there is Che getting nailed by a Tibbers. Chains onto Tibbers, only rooting the bear. And Smeb now. The Nolas death charge, it's so predictable. No. It's slow path that you can flash safely. Yeah, it just, you can't compare the two. No, not at all. Smeb on the run right now. Will they try and dive him? Dangerous. Depth charge goes down on him. There's the follow up equalizer. Smeb going to dash out of it. There's a knock up stun. And Smeb just going to go down four people on the bottom side, however. And that's going to be a barren attempt right now. Trace comes in. No equalizer. He used it. There's the Sivir. Turn around. Force the flash. Stun on a Trace. Turn it around. Go back to the Baron. Will they know? It's only at 5,000 health. Their Baron damage isn't that great. And all of Jin Air are coming. Yeah, there we go. Equalizer down on the ground already. GBM gets stunned and destroyed. Gorilla showing up with a big stun. And now it's follow-up time. Trace is just there to get annihilated after his Zonias. Gorilla, no Tibbers for that fight, but catches GBM on his distortion in from Ku to be able to do this. They're going to have Rex size. Gorilla good. has Tibbers. There's almost no way they can stop this Baron. They're going to wait to see in the gates. 1,100 health. They're in there. Chase is close. Isn't able to get the smite. Falls down first. And Ku's going to run rampant. Wow, really bizarre call there 
from Janair going for that kill again. They trade one for one. Now Equalizer. can they clean up? It's like it's not going to be enough. They're going to get slowed by the barrel roll. And honestly, Kurosh just looked tasty here, then Rift walk away. Obviously, they're not going to have the way to lock down. GBM's going for the pick, gets it onto Wisdom. They should have the damage to take him down, although not quite yet. Captain Jack joining late. Kuro, he's tanky, but not tanky enough. Wow, so they get the picks, and a lot of that was the Ku Tigers just not running. They actually committed to that skirmish a little bit too much. That range, and now we see Smeb and Trace dueling it out. Gorilla with the Tibbers drop, and goodbye, Trace. You cannot live through this one. The uh, cast is thrown out for a celebration, just throwing a bit of the uh, two wow. pink and look at that. Men. Even faking with the glory right there, like there was somebody in that brush. They denied the vision. What a great play from the Ku Tigers. They're going to lock up a Baron. So what happened right there is we see the re-engage coming around. Smep sprinting Whoa, forward, but Kuro gets poked out pretty darn hard. Are we going to see the counter-engage? Smeb actually pulled down there, gets hit by that equalizer and by uh, the Nautilus ultimate, but it's just not enough. Prey popping over the wall, trying to get the autos down. Smeb on a rampage through the enemy team, though. But Chaser moving forward. Has he gone too far? The answer is yes. Triple, Triple kill. kill for Smeb. Quadra kill. Is that going to be the Penta? Kill. It will be the Riven Penta, and Smeb will lock up the first pentakill of this season. Wonderful kiting from Smeb, able to use all his dashes so judiciously for both damage and survival. Massive minion wave prepped earlier, now the Baron buff as well. And with 20 seconds left, we're gonna actually see the replay as a lot of this game starts to end, but what play from Smeb. And Janair rightfully thinking they should re-engage. They got Cassidy and Lowe. This is their chance to come back into this game. And we're gonna watch the end of the game instead. No pentakill replay for you. Not yet, anyway. Until the MVP, which Smeb will no doubtedly achieve. Wow. Well, Ku Tigers putting an exclamation point on that win with a ribbon pentakill to win the series 2-1. to one. And you might be able to get Smeb away from the top of solo queue rank, but you can't get him away from the ribbon, apparently. <laughs> Even in competitive play, this team makes it work. Now 7-1 uh, in Overall, his career, 3-0 yeah. oh this season. Making Riven work on a patch like 5.10, throwing Cinder Hulk out the window, and a big carry performance from Smeb, justifying all that extra CS, all the extra levels. Level 18 Riven rolled that fight. Yeah, very nice. A tough loss for Jin Air, but they made it closer than I thought they were going to, actually playing very well throughout the early game. But the mind games.